Hi everyone, I'm Katie Kemper with Sly Fox Fabrics and we're here today for our weekly new fabric reveal. So I think I'm right on time today because I updated my computer so my clock is correct. For some reason it got behind by several minutes um, and I didn't realize it. So last week I was sitting here waiting for it to turn 1230 and I thought, boy, that time seems a little off. Check my watch and I think I was five minutes late. So I hope everyone's having a good day today. Our weather here in northeastern Ohio is finally getting a little warm, but we're having thunderstorms along with that intermittently. But it's still nice to be able to open the windows and get some warm air in and not have to wear uh, sweatshirts. So <laughs> we can put some sandals on finally. I guess I better pull up your comments. I think we're good today. I don't think we're going to have the problems that we had last week. Um, <clears throat> I double-checked everything. I went live several times on my own profile and up, redid the Wi-Fi, reset it. So we should be good. And updated my computer, of course. So it's beautiful in Connecticut, too. That's good. I see my husband's on. <laughs> So we have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fabrics today. We have uh, two, well, a restock that we haven't had in, it looks like a couple of years. So it's almost like a new fabric. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about Ponty. Um, we... We have several Pontys on the shelf right now, and I think I'm going to do a separate video just explaining the difference between Ponty to Roma, Heavy Ponty to Roma, and Heavy Ponty to Roma Soft Touch, um, because I think it could be a little confusing if you just if you're shopping and and you see all these different Pontys and you're not quite sure what is the difference. Um, so I don't have a picture for this, but this is the Ivory Ponty to Roma. And it's the uh, it's a lighter weight than the heavy ponty. It's a polyester spandex rather than a poly rayon spandex or a rayon nylon spandex. So um, it's a little bit lighter. So I would say maybe slightly slightly drapier than uh, the heavy ponty. And, uh, and like I said, a little bit lighter. So it's more like um, a 285 or a 290 GSM compared to a 315 or a 340 GSM in the heavy ponties. Uh, and these are great for skirts, dresses, structured tops. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, pencil skirts and circle skirts. And it's good for bands. If you want bands that are kind of substantial and you don't have rib knit, you could use Ponty. Um, also, somebody mentioned last week that whenever they make a uh, Cardi out of Ponty, it feels like a blazer. And it would sit nice and a little bit more structured. Uh, and I saw somebody posted a pair of Ponty shorts in the group. I think it was yesterday. And they're really cute. So it's, you know, with it being short weather... Uh, the Ponty is perfect for shorts. So uh, I wanted to mention the Ivory Ponty that's on the shelf. That's what this is because it does go with a lot of our fabrics that we're showing today. I'm going to fold it so I don't because I'm a little, a little OCD that way sometimes. <laughs> okay, so our, our restock that I said we haven't had in quite a while is Siren Single Brush Poly. And when we had this a couple of years ago, it looks like my first photo files were December of 2017 for this fabric. Um, it was a hit. Everybody loved it. And it went away. Our supplier didn't carry it for a long time. And then when I was ordering last time and I saw it, I saw it in there, I thought, you know what? I'm going to get that because you guys have been loving Navy for about, I would say about a year now. I've noticed that uh, navy, slipping off me, <laughs> navy based uh, prints have been flying off the shelves. So I got it back in thinking that maybe you guys missed it. 
And um, this is a single brush, so it's super silky and slinky, as you can see how it's just falling off of me. And I have a, I think it's a full length Agnes in this dress. Very beautiful. Um, love wearing it this time of year too. I used to wear it to uh, occasionally to the school events, like the end of the year school events that the kids had that we didn't have this year. I know, here I go bringing it down. Uh, okay, so I'll stop. I have a bad habit of doing that. All right. Uh, light pink is a beautiful coordinate because it picks up this really sweet, beautiful pink in the flowers. And olive. The green in here is brighter than olive, but there are some a little darker spots in the green that pick up on the olive. So if you're an olive lover, you can you can put it with this. Those are our two coordinates for this. I thought I would have more. The navy doesn't, it's not a match. It's just slightly off. Um, it doesn't really match. So it's not in as the coordinate. I just wanted to show you guys that because I know somebody will ask, what about the navy? So that is the siren. And I'll see, can you guys see how, you can kind of see how it's a little shiny. So single brushed tends to be, for the most part, kind of uh, slick and silky on the back. Although there are some that feel double brushed or they feel, they don't feel slinky, they feel softer. This is a slinky one. Okay, and don't forget to comment because of course we're giving our booty away. So every, if you haven't been on the reveals before, every comment is an entry to win the fabrics that I'm showing today. And I'll throw in, usually I just do the, the new stocks, but I'll put in the restock today of the Siren and also a yard of this Ivory Ponte. So um, it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice booty this week. So every comment, comment as much as you like. Uh, and then I'll announce it tomorrow, as long as I remember. It's a little harder for me on Saturdays. <laughs> Sometimes I'm out in the yard, which I'm, I've been informed I will be this Saturday, <laughs> outside working. Okay, so our next fabric is Optical Illusion Ponte de Roma. We've had this before in black and ivory. It's been a long time. Uh, I love this print. I've been holding back on ordering this. I have no idea why, but I got this in in this navy, and then we have one more colorway coming in our next uh, new fabric reveal. So this is a regular Ponte. Uh, it's not a heavy Ponte. So it's a polyester spandex mix. So it's a little bit lighter, and um, I just think it's too cool. I want to make a dress out of it, and of course I'd position the navy bands where my waist is. Kind of give that optical illusion of a smaller waist. Um, this reminds me of something that you would wear on the water, like on a boat day or something. I think it would be really cute in a top with a boat neck. Um, and let's see, I think with this one it was just ivory and navy. So it actually does match the navy brush poly. And then, of course, the ivory is an ivory, so matches that. So all I can think of with this one is a cute top with a boat neck, a dress, a sheath-type dress, or a pencil-type skirt. I think it would be really cute in some other things. I'm just, I'm kind of drawing a blank. So this is where you guys come in and make some really cool stuff with it and blow my mind. Um... With Ponte's, they have typically great horizontal stretch. This one is like, I think 75, 75 or 100. It was really great horizontally, but they tend to be more stable on the vertical stretch. It's just kind of typical of, of a double knit. Sometimes the heavy Ponte's will give you 50-50 stretch. Okay, so our next one is... Um, and Sandy Rogers, Corey is saying red would look awesome with the blue and white. I agree. In fact, I didn't mean to, to check that out. Let's, let's look at it right now. Let me, let me go back and let's look at the red real quick. This is lipstick red. 
I really like those together because the lipstick red has a blue undertone to it. And then here is red red, which is much brighter. It's still pretty. I think I prefer the lipstick though if I had to pick over uh, between the two of them. Be nice for some Americana type theme outfit as well as the Liverpool. So <laughs> this Liverpool, um, I thought it was beautiful. I love the red, white, and ivory in it because usually this time of year, we're all kind of making stuff for our holidays, um, Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. And so Americana blog usually comes out in June. I haven't heard yet if they're doing that yet, but I try and get a few things in every year to, to go with um, that theme. And I got this one in this year. And I thought, boy, isn't that print pretty? <laughs> so when I went to put it in this morning, I realized that this is a limelight print. I thought it was a new print, but it's actually limelight. No wonder I thought it was pretty. Okay, so this one, um, of course, goes with the lipstick red. It goes with the regular red because there's so many, there's so many different degrees of red in here. And... I think my top is really slinky too. Everything's sliding off of it today. Oh yes, the navy. See, because it picks up the lighter navy colors in here. It's beautiful. And the olive. The greens in here are definitely olive. And I just want to hold this up so you can see the different, um, the lights and darks in there give it some dimension. It's really pretty. And Liverpool's another double knit, like double ponte. Has great horizontal stretch, has really good recovery. Um, not so much on the vertical stretch. So, you know, some people will ask, what well, can I use? Can I use Liverpool for this, this particular pattern or ponte or whatever? Just make sure you check your stretch. Uh, what they're calling for for the stretch in the pattern because uh, if they need four-way stretch you're gonna have to choose something different or choose a heavy ponte with four-way stretch okay I love this one this also reminds me of boating I think I'm, I'm like stripes remind me of boating not that I boat a lot I don't I don't even have a boat <laughs> but I've been on a boat a couple of times. Um, this is called Endless Summer. It has these really happy, bright flowers that are, they're red, but they're like a, they're like a bright red. Really pretty. The stripes are black and ivory. I just think it's too pretty. Um, it's actually kind of cute with my, what are these? Uh, khaki model. Portlanders. <laughs> They'd be cute together. Even though this has no khaki in it, I like them together. I might have to steal some of this to add to my stash to make a top someday. <laughs> I really have been sewing more. Um, oh, Sarah says it needs to be an Agnes. I agree. It would make a great Agnes. And I just took my Agnes pattern home to make some, some stuff. I need some dresses, and I was going to use use it to make uh, a mango tango in coral dress. I don't know. I just think that'd be really cute. Um, so let's see. Of course, ivory and black go with this. I mean, of course. And what did I do with the red? It's over here. So red... Look at how happy that is. And um, mustard gold. There's some there's some gold in here. So look how I love the mustard with the black and the ivory and the red. And it pulls out the gold. Crystal Johnson, the jumper would be cute. It would be really cute. I was actually thinking the other day about um, making like a faux jumper where you'd make a you know a top and a pair of pants that go together, but then you wouldn't have the whole one piece jumper issue when it comes time to using the ladies room, you know, you know what I mean? 
Um, so, <laughs> so this is a single brush and it's really, it's one of your nice silky, silky single brush. I'm trying to, I keep holding this up because I'm trying to think of the type of blouse I was thinking this would be cute in. Um, like a, a dolman type that's, um, that's a short sleeve. Like a, a real boxy short sleeve dolman. I think that would be really cute. Okay. Our, oops, I'm going backwards. Sorry, guys. There we go. <laughs> okay, I have two tie-dyes for you today. I have a tie-dye print, and then I have an actual tie-dye, and I'll explain the difference. Um, this is the tie-dye print. It's navy and mauve. It's a double brushed, it's super buttery feeling. And I see my picture is very, it's looking very different than what I've got on the screen here. I would say maybe the picture is a little bit more intense and what we have on the screen is maybe a little bit more dull. So it's somewhere in between, I know. That's a lot of help, isn't it? Okay, so a tie-dye print, this is actually a tie-dye um, pattern that's printed on the fabric just like a floral, so you can tell the back is white, and that's because the print is printed on one side. So that's a print, and you're going to, with a print, it's going to repeat, and it's always going to look like it looks here, so you know what you're getting. Um, and that'll make more sense when I go on to the next fabric and show that to you which is an actual tie-dye. So this one, uh, Marsala, is a great match. And light pink. Now, I said it was a coordinate because I think that, I don't know that the pinks get as light as light pink in here, but um, the light pink looks really pretty with it. So. I think it's a good one, but I put it down as the complementary coordinate. Uh, light pink. I also put light slate as a complementary coordinate because these blues are getting lighter and what am I doing? They're getting lighter and darker in here and it goes with some of the lighter. Overall, it looks really pretty. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's a complementary coordinate. Um, also, dark, yes, dark mauve. It, it's beautiful with the mauve. It's a coordinate. And I also put down navy as a complementary coordinate. Because, like I said, it, you know, it's the same for the um, light slate. There's some dark and lights in the blue, and overall it looks really nice together. And this this gray in here, I just want to let you know, because we have a steel gray uh, available. <clears throat> the steel gray is much more blue than this gray, so they're not a coordinate. So um, it's pretty. I think it would be a really uh, cute tank dress. Yep, for, you know, hanging out in the summertime throw a cute necklace on with that. It would also be a cute Agnes. It would be a lot of cute things. Cute maxi skirt. Um, okay, so the next one, this is an actual tie-dye. So this fabric has been tie-dyed. It's not printed, it's actually tie-dyed. And that means that each piece is unique and different, and you can see the tie-dye go through all the way to the back of the fabric. Um, we had one that is, it, we just sold the last yard last week uh, on the Fusion um, that was, I think it was charcoal and mauve maybe. This one's charcoal and mustard. And it's a lot of fun because uh, you can see, it's just, it really is the print, it's not a print, but the, the tie-dye is just very, very random. So. And there's a lot of different colors in here, although your main colors are charcoal and mustard. You get some pinks and some blues in there too. So 
So I'm going to turn this around. Let's see if I can make sure that I have this right. Okay, so oh, here comes the static cling. All right, so our matches are mustard, of course. Looks great with it. Very cool. Um, I have ivory and black because, you know, throughout there's a little bit, little peaks of ivory, and then the black plays nice with the charcoals and uh, makes the mustard pop. So I really like that on there. And then we get some blues in here. So the navy looks nice. I don't know if you can really see that, but take my word for it. <laughs> Just trust me. Um, and also the light pink. So we can get the light pink up here. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. So, um, like I said, it's it's really tie dyed, and each piece is unique. So you can uh, kind of play around with it if you're making something, you know, to hopefully to get the placement that you want. But it's very cool. Very cool. Okay, one more. We're down to one more. Ha ha! Okay, so I like to confuse everything. So last last week we had a uh, sweet duet vertical, which I listed as horizontal, just to you know confuse everybody. And um, when I ordered these, okay, this is the exact same colorway as the sweet duet in um, vertical. I didn't plan it that way. When I ordered them. The description on them, one of them said mauve and one of them said coral. And then they came in and they were the exact same colors. So <laughs> this is the same exact colorway as the one we had last week, only the print is horizontal instead of vertical. Um, Sandy wants to know if the tie-dye is good for leggings. Depends on the stretch. I know the horizontal stretch is good can't remember the vertical. I can check it really quick here. Um, usually you need a 50% on the vertical for leggings. It depends on what pattern you're using. And then some people say, I, I've never done this, that you can size um, up if your stretch isn't where it needs to be. So it's a little bit under 50% on the whole vertical stretch. So it's possible. I would check with your pattern designer. Um, so this one coordinates with black and um, where'd you go? And maroon. There's a little bit of maroon in these flowers. And I think oh, everybody's a little off. Let's see what it looks like with this. You could pair it with the ivory ponte. I really like it with the um, ivory soft touch ponte, which is a little bit more of a cream color. Um, they're not an exact match, but they look really pretty together. I took some home. I'm going to make a pair of Portlanders out of the cream heavy, I'm sorry, ivory soft touch heavy ponte and a top out of the, um, the vertical sweet duet. And this is a single brushed. It's softer on the back than some of the other ones. It's not quite slinky, but it's softer. Yeah, the Marsala does not match this. All of the other mauves, pinks, whatever, they just do not match. Just the only one that really truly matches is the maroon, which you would think that the, the light pink would match. It doesn't. Um, so it's one of those odd ones. It's just kind of out there. But it's single brushed, and uh, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, so that was our last fabric today. This was a lot of fun. 
I think we have some really fun different kind of fabrics today. Let's see. Uh, the stripe in it in the duet is black. They're both, both of them are black and ivory and the colors the exact same. The flowers are the exact same color. So just, <laughs> just, just me again, screwing up when I order. I like to order things that look exactly the same without realizing it. That's a lot of fun. Um, so don't forget to comment and you can comment as much as you like. And um, I'll pick a winner tomorrow around four o'clock and post it um, unless I forget. <laughs> uh, but I'll try and get it up there as soon as possible. And uh, all right. So any pressing questions? Anybody have before I close for today? The fabrics will be live right after um, I end the video. I'll go in to Shopify and make the fabrics live, and then I'll post in the group and let you guys know that they're up there. And um, okay, I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and close down. Um, I'm going to cut orders as soon as I close down and make the fabrics live. So I uh, just want to let you know I won't be checking the page for a little while because uh, I need to get some stuff out before the postman shows up in an hour. So, um, But I will check later this afternoon in case you guys have burning questions. <laughs> All right, guys, it was good to see you today, and I will see you next week. And um, have a great week.